Hey, what's up guys? I'm here today to give you a quick review of what I consider to be the best e-reader. Um, it's not what you might think. Like usually, you know, it's the latest thing out there and um, this isn't necessarily the latest thing out there. Um, I've had a lot of different e-readers, the Nook, um, different Kindles, some Sony ones. You know, I read a lot and I... Um, the main thing for me that is really important to me uh, in an e-reader would be the readability of the text. Because, you know, I have tablets and a phone and stuff, but I have sensitive eyes, and I really don't like, even for people that don't have sensitive eyes, I just don't like the glare, uh, hard to read in direct sunlight on a tablet, um, and uh, it's just not very crisp and clear. The e-ink technology is great. So that brings me to my first point. This right here is um, the Kindle, um, the, not the Paperwhite one. Um, if you want to see exactly which Kindle this is at any point during the video, you can click the link directly below the video that says Best E-Reader Buy Here. And you can see this one I think currently goes for $69. I think it's half the price of what the latest Amazon Kindle is, which is the Paperwhite. Here's the big point I'm going to make. I ordered the Paperwhite and I got it. It's nice. It has a you know touch screen whatever, the glow like the they backlit it which to me like I have a huge problem with that because that I think undermines the whole idea for me of e ink technology because it is so clear um, and so easy on your eyes to read I wanted an experience that mirrored what you're going to get in an actual book. Um, not on a computer screen. So for me, when you have, um, I'm gonna have to refocus this camera thing. Let me see if I can do that. I'll um, cut it off and be right back. There we go, I'm back. I just wanted to, the camera I'm using sometimes is hard to focus. I really wanna give you a look at how clear this text is. This text is, like you, you know, like you're actually. Let me get really close in here. This is as close as I can get with this focus right about there. You can really get the idea of how clear that text is uh, on here, and that's the most important thing for me. Like if someone else didn't really care about that, I don't know why you'd have an e-reader then. I think you could just read off your tablet or a phone or whatever. If I guess you didn't have one, but most people have smartphones. Um, so that glow on the paper white, you cannot. Um, you cannot turn it off. You can only turn it down. It seems like you're turning it off, but there's always that faint glow. And it always bothered my eye, and I thought that it, uh, even though they say the pixels per inch is better on the paper white, it just did not look as clear as this because of that glow really bothered my eyes. So if you have the same uh, uh, ideas as I do about e-ink, and, uh, and that makes sense to you, and you don't like that glow, this is such a better deal for the price. Like I said, this is around $69. The paperweight at the time I'm putting this video up is like $129. And um, this um, case, I highly recommend it as well uh, on this e-reader. Oh, just to talk, I don't want to gloss over the fact of Kindle compared to Nook, whatever. I suppose if you're in Barnes & Noble all day long and you like to sit there and um, you know go to their snack bar and browse books, I think you can like get books for free while you're in the store. I don't really go to Barnes & Noble all that much, and if I do, I'm not hanging out there. So if you're the type of person that hangs out there, the Nook may be good for you. I don't like the design of the Nook, that little hook thing on the end. I don't know, people put little tchotchkes on there and stuff. I don't know what the hell that's for. Um, I just think the design is very clean and, and sophisticated. And uh, look at this case. Let me show you this little flip-out light that gets its power from the um, uh, Kindle itself. Uh, the Kindle uh, has an ungodly amount of battery life. It lasts forever. Um, it's really light. It reads just like a book. You can get sample uh, samples of books. The Kim Kindle li library on Amazon is huge. Um, it's just unbelievable. Um, go ahead and check out all the reviews. And, uh, I, you know, the, the one thing I want to point out is that glow thing. If that really speaks to you, don't make the mistake and get the paperwork. Get this, save money, and use the extra money to buy the case. And, again, if you click the link directly below this video that says Best E-Reader, buy here. You can check out all the specs on the case and the Kindle. I hope this was helpful to you, and I'll talk to you later.